Well, hello everybody. Brandon here with Stardog's Boneyard and today we've been working on a steering gearbox from the 1940s. There's not like a brand name or anything like that. There's a little uh, identifying mark and the casting number. Uh, personally, I think it's a Gemmer. Um, this is what it looks like. know better than I do please leave a comment because this thing doesn't have a brand name on it it does have like some identifying mark that mainly that's it right there it has this little cross mark but we're gonna rebuild this thing just a just a dry rebuild well here we are I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this thing it's dry assembly um, all you need is a ratchet, three quarters, five eighths, nine sixteenths, half inch, a big flat head, and you might need one of these. Let's get to it. First thing you do is you put your bearing in the race. Then you put in your steering shaft. After that's in, you put your next bearing on, then the cup. After you get, get that put in, you would normally put some shims here. Since this is a dry rebuild, we're just going to go ahead and put the cover on. After that's in, you should be able to freely spin the shaft. And this will just keep on turning forever until you put your other gear in, which is this guy. When you put him in, you want to make sure that he lines right up with some of the other teeth, okay? And you have this little lock washer. You're going to put your bolt through. Like that. You watch this bottom gear here will move inward, it will move downward. There's only a few things left. There's this little star washer and then the little cap that makes sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And this little star kind of meets up with this hump. There's only really one thing left. That's your oil, oil lid cap. And then you put that on there and that's how it works. Four and a half revolutions. So we go one revolution, two revolution, three revolution, four revolution, and about a half. I would say a little bit less than, than the half, but about four and a half. There is a little bit of inherent wobble. About that much. I don't know if there's any way to tighten it up because on an older system like this, there's really not that much adjusting. And this guy doesn't really do much to, to do that. All that does is move the, the shaft in and out. I put it all the way in and then I put it all the way out just to see if it changed anything on that and it did not. Still give me the same amount of, you know, looseness and then I bring it all the way in. Got the same amount of looseness. The only other adjusting you can do is how many shims you put right here. Honestly, you still have that inherent loose steering. I think that's just part of this steering gearbox. There is a stamp on here that says 46. So I'm guessing this is from 1946. And my goodness gracious, it is in excellent condition. Someone cut this. These are the four bolts that mount the base plate right here to your frame. These are the example shims and seals. So these will go along with the steering gearbox. 